welcome to Connextra. I'm Emily Haller and I'm here with John Box of Rayfields Bank. And we're at EBA Day 2016 in Milan. Thank you for joining me. No problem. Rayfields Bank are one of the supporters of this year's FinTech Pavilion. Yes. Why is it important that FinTechs have a presence at events like EBA Day? I think a lot of the themes that are coming out of the sessions during the EBA Day conference uh, are around collaboration and they're also around the issues that the banks are facing. Um, if you think of the challenges of PSD2, the challenges of MLD4, the challenges around security, I think it's unlikely that banks are going to have all of the answers in-house to these questions. Um, so maybe fintechs will have some of the answers, maybe they have the technology and have the experience to create some really innovative solutions to the bank's problems. It's important that they come and kind of embrace the banking sector because then they get first-hand feedback from the banks regarding what their challenges are. If they don't come and collaborate with the banks then they're not going to hear what the challenges are, they're not going to be able to look at what the solutions could be. But I think also it's, it's important for the banks to understand what the fintechs can provide. Uh, seeing fintechs as a supplier, a potential supplier, uh, instead of a challenger, I think it puts them in a new light. And I think a lot of the fintechs that are in the fintech pavilion this year really have a lot of services that the banks could find beneficial. So what can be done to enable further collaboration between banks and fintechs? Um, I think there's a lot of talk about uh, fintechs offering services to banks. I think a lot of the fintechs are held back because they're not getting services offered to them from the banks. Uh, I think it, there's, there's a real need to revolutionise how banking products are offered to fintechs. Uh, decouple things like settlement and sponsorship access from traditional corporate banking models and corporate banking products. Uh, and that will allow banks to, to make a different risk approach, take a different risk approach when offering these products to a different sector, a sector that perhaps is perceived as high risk, but perhaps not as risky uh, as the banks think when they start to understand how the business are operating and what the real risks attached to the businesses are. John, thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you for watching.